Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Oscar from Hike Much, and in this video, I wanted to talk about these hiking socks. So recently I finished hiking the GR11, which is a through hike of about 900 kilometers. And as my main choice of hiking socks, I basically chose the Silverlight hiking socks. And in this video, I will be reviewing them. Normally I wouldn't be reviewing socks because you know, they're kind of smaller items, but I do want to review them because during my whole through hike I didn't get a single blister like not a single one and also my girlfriend uh, hiked with the identical socks and she also didn't get a single blister but before I get into the review I wanted to mention that this video isn't sponsored I bought these socks for my own money but before making this video I reached out to Silverlight and they basically gave me a bonus code which you can use if you want to get a discount I linked out to it down below in the video description so when I was doing my research and I was preparing for my through hike initially I wanted to go with darn tough or smart wool which are basically two of the more popular hiking sock brands but instead I went with Silverlight because I did read a lot of uh, like very good reviews about them mainly I found out about them from Chase Mountains I watched his video where he basically said that these socks are like <laughs> the best hiking socks ever and I actually kind of agree with that I'm just in love with these socks and I know it sounds weird but I am in love with these socks. <laughs> you probably haven't heard of Silverlight before if you haven't been subscribed to this channel because I've mentioned them quite a few times before. I hiked with the Silverlight Merino wool hiking socks. And let me tell you, they were f***ing amazing. These are the best socks out there. Uh, but essentially Silverlight is this uh, smaller sock manufacturer from Australia. Uh, however, these are made in China. So right now you can get only one model of this hiking sock. and. I bought the shorter version which is called crew and the longer one which is no this one is ankle and this one is crew I used the shorter ones I believe about 60% of the time and the longer ones about 40 before we talk about why I didn't get a single blister with them we should understand why do you get blisters from socks in general blisters don't form only because of friction they also form much quicker if there's heat around if there's water around and if there's a lot of bacteria not only should your socks and your shoes fit you perfectly so there wouldn't be any friction but also the socks should be antimicrobial and also water resistant all popular hiking socks are usually made from a mix of nylon merino wool and elastane and these ones are the same but they've added a bit of silver coated yarns silver yarns in hiking socks is something new uh, i did some research and i did see that silver yarns are used in all kinds of fabrics where you need basically the fabric to be odor resistant uh, in order for it to kill bacteria because silver does actively kill bacteria. They're used in pillowcases, in t-shirts and so on. But so far I haven't found other hiking socks which also have silver yarn. So this is something completely new. At first I was a bit hesitant that adding a bit of silver to the socks would do anything in terms of blisters but I think it worked because I didn't get a single blister basically. These socks are fitted for each feet individually as you can see here in the toe box. You know usually the toe box is just oval shaped which means that uh, basically there's too much fabric around your pinky and too little around your toe but these ones are fitted for each feet perfectly. You can find out which sock is the right one for each feet by reading the text in the inside of the sock. It basically says venture out and venture is the left leg and out is the right leg. Usually hiking socks or just socks in general feel elastic all around the sock. But these ones I would say feel more rigid and stronger compared to regular socks. Like it's a bit harder to put them on, especially if your feet are wet or if the sock is slightly damp. But once you do put it on, it doesn't feel like it's compressing your whole feet. It feels like it's perfectly made for your feet and it doesn't move around. It feels very tight. It just feels different. It feels stronger and more rugged. I would say that in terms of compression, the sock does a really good job, which is another important factor why they basically don't result in any blisters. Another important thing is that they're padded here around the heel and around the toe box. But enough about blister prevention. Now let's talk about the breathability, the odor resistance and the water resistance. As I said, these socks are very breathable. I used them in uh, Spain, so the temperature 
outside was in hot days even 30 degrees Celsius and my feet weren't sweating in them that much so they're very breathable. In terms of odor resistance at the beginning they weren't smelling at all even even if I didn't wash them for several days. So usually I wash them every two to five days maybe and during those even five days my feet didn't stink at all and my shoes also didn't stink. However, towards the end, I did notice that my feet would start like uh, developing bad odors after about maybe three days. I think that happened because I was washing them with biodegradable soap and I was just basically washing them in rivers. And this biodegradable soap wasn't as effective in killing off all the bacteria. Like I wasn't washing it throughoutly, I was just you know, getting <laughs> most of the stench out basically. And after all that time, I think the saw got a bit dirtier, I w didn't wash it out throughoutly, and that's the main reason why it started developing some bad odors. And they also dry very quickly. I was usually walking with one pair, and I washed the second one, and I attached it to, to the outside of my backpack, and if there was sun around, they would usually dry within an hour, if it wasn't, they would dry within a few hours. And now let's cover the durability and how well they held up. So let's start with the longer sock. Essentially, it looks almost in an identical condition to what I received in, even after doing 900 kilometers, and that's really impressive for any sock. There aren't any holes, no rips, the fabric still looks in a very good condition, there aren't any places that look like a hole could be forming, the stitching is all good, so the longer pair still in a pristine condition. However, now let's talk about the shorter pair. Here they've added this flap, which is just thicker fabric, and it's there to keep the sock from sliding down. And after about doing a few hundred kilometers, I did notice that the stitching started coming loose on one sock, and then it continued on the other one as well. And now basically around the back of the heel, the stitching is pretty much done. Which brings me actually to the last point, which is the lifetime warranty that these socks have. On their website they do say that they repair basically any problems without any questions asked, so I guess I'll test that sometime soon because, you know, this these the shorter ones are coming apart. But, you know, they're still useful and I would still use them for my next through hike because, uh, you know, the flap is just basically coming a bit loose but the sock isn't still sliding down, it's still in a good condition. Overall, in terms of durability, they're pretty much exceptional. And here's my final verdict on these hiking socks. Now, I think they're pretty much perfect for through hiking. I didn't get a single blister, they're extremely comfortable, breathable, odor resistant, water resistant. The only downside is that they are pretty expensive. I did pay, I think, about 50 euros for both of them. I think the shorter ones are a bit cheaper. But if you use the bonus code, which I have linked out to down in the video description, you can get 15% uh, off, so it should be a bit less. I think that Smart Wool and Darn Tough would also be probably pretty good choices for through hiking. I've read a lot of good reviews about them, but I think that these ones are slightly better. So yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say about the Silver Light Hiking Socks. I hope this video helped you out, I hope it was interesting for you to watch, and I'll see you in one of my next videos. But only if you subscribed. Bye!